What makes it special and new is the exciting discovery that there is more diversity in the human lineage, in our origin, in our um, ancestry than we originally thought at this particular time. So between about three million and two, two and a half million years ago, a lot of exciting things are happening. So we know it's something new, but we want to be a little bit cautious about naming it until we have a better picture of all of the morphology, um, of how it, its whole body looked, not just five teeth or ten teeth in its mouth, but how did its whole body look? How did its skull look? Did it have interesting looking hands? Was there something different about its feet? Now we will probably not ever find a skeleton with teeth and a skull and feet and hands, but we would like to find a little bit more of it. <laughs> So all of these are from between about 2.8. The biggest excitement is around the fact that um, there's more than just one or two or possibly even three species of Australopithecus here in Eastern Africa and that this, this sort of idea that Homo evolves because the climate is changing, our lineage evolves because the climate is changing and there's something special about us at that point, maybe isn't supported by data because there's this other genus, Australopithecus, that's also still there. So it just really adds to the diversity and the complexity, which makes the whole scientific enterprise more interesting. It's boring if there's just one evolving into the next one evolving into the next one. But if there are three around and they're overlapping, whew, that makes the questions really great to ask. Two species of house.